the order ticket and the one-click trading method are the two ways to open positions on MT4. Understanding how these work, learning the pitfalls, and practicing how to use them is one of the most important things you will do when learning to trade. Let's take a look by right-clicking on the chart and selecting Trading and New Order. Here we can see the MT4 order ticket. It will pop up with the asset connected to the respective chart, but you may select anything to trade here. The left side of the ticket is the tick chart showing the bid and ask price. If you wish, you may type in a comment here to identify a certain trade or strategy. We will learn where to read these in the MT4 terminal video, but for now keep in mind this is the only chance you will get to type a comment. You cannot add or edit this afterwards. Volume is the position size of your trade. This is a critical part of your trading and we will learn how to determine this in our education series. Do not place any live trades from a funded account until you understand these numbers. The stop loss is the price point at which you are willing to fail. If you click one of the directional arrows, the current price will appear. You may increase or lower this price with the arrows or you may just type in a price. Take profit is the price point at which you would like to succeed. Again, the arrows will set your take profit at the current price. OK, let's try one. The type is set for market execution, which means that as soon as I click buy or sell, the order will be filled. We click sell and now we can see our position on the chart. We may modify the position by clicking and dragging the stop loss or take profit as we see fit. You will see a small box as you move your cursor telling you of your risk and your profit. After I set my stop loss and take profit, and I accidentally click the wrong button, an error message pops up saving me from making a big mistake. Of course, you may open a position and set your stop loss and take profit later, but if you click the wrong button, there will be no error message and your order will be filled. You may add stop loss and take profit later, and we will learn about that in the MT4 terminal video. The other type of order is the pending order, which will be executed in the future based on the price you set. Here are the four types of pending orders. Buy limit, where you would like the price to drop to and then reverse to your take profit. Sell limit, where you would like the price to rise to then reverse to your take profit. Buy stop, where you feel the price has sufficiently broken through resistance and will continue to climb. Sell stop, where you feel the price has sufficiently broken through support and will continue to drop. Keep in mind that sell stop and buy stop have nothing to do with stop loss. They are completely different concepts. OK, let's set one up. As well, you have the option of moving the entry price, stop loss, or take profit. Another way of entering a limit order is to set your crosshairs or mouse cursor at your desired price and right click Sell Limit or Buy Limit. Your pending order will be placed without a stop loss or take profit and it will be placed at your default position size, so be careful. Let's look at one click trading. Right click on your chart and select one click trading. You will note two buttons, buy and sell and the corresponding bid and ask prices. The second thing you will note is the default position size. Again, be careful with this. We will learn more about this in our education series, but for now, let's practice with a very small position size by typing 0.05. Click Buy or Sell and your position is open without a stop loss or profit target. Until you hover over the entry point and you see Drag to Modify. Click and drag one way and you have your take profit level. Click and drag in the opposite direction and you have your stop loss level. To review, in this lesson we covered, the MT4 order ticket, modifying your open positions on the chart, types of orders, and one-click trading. In the next lesson, we will continue with trading and look at position sizes and stop loss.